Gordius? Yeah, I'm oh, it's it's Ah. At the end of the Gorgias, right, Socrates is now pulling together a myth. And in the myth, he has a certain set of interesting points, and I'm going to give you one of them. <clears throat> and uh, uh. I'm at uh, 525B. <clears throat> but it is proper that everyone who is punished, if he is rightly punished by another, should either become better and derive advantage from his punishment or become an example to others that others perceiving his suffering may be terrified mm -hmm. and be made better. Okay, what is his view of punishment? That it should make you better or make others better by seeing you. You are, sure, you are suffering. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it? You either uh -huh. become better and derive an advantage from it or you be used as an example yes. for others. Yes. Yes. If he's punished in the right way. Yeah, Would, yeah. Oh. Has to be. But in, and... Would you not agree? Everyone agrees to that? This is the behavioral view of punishment. Yes. That's right. It's the behavioral view of punishment. And what prisons are supposed to be all about. Yeah, well, yeah and that makes sense, doesn't it? But there's an important term there. It's punished properly. There's no mind. Right, right, right. 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 It's punished properly. Right. Right. You have to say it louder, please. Say it louder, Julie. Louder. Well, no, that's right. It's focusing on the doing it right. And, but also there's no mind. It's just the body. That's the view of behaviorism. There is no mind. Now you have to make a judgment about what you just said. Now that you understand it, would you agree that you either agree with it or you disagree with it? Or you think that is true or it is not true? How would you put it? You know, it kind of brings up the same issue that I was faced with before. Yeah. I don't want to... I think... I don't want to take a position on this. Why not? Because it's only a theoretical position. I don't want to get involved in, in that position. Why not? You understand it. I understand <clears throat> that if it's done rightly, it will do these things. If it does those things, then we can say it was done rightly. But I don't want to do any of that anyway. Why not? <clears throat> because there are... Um, are you saying you disagree with the whole notion? Well, I don't think people need to be rehabilitated. What was the word? Made better? 
Do you, do you go along with what you understand as the goal of this kind of thing called punishment? Yes or no? Um, I think it said to make people better, or to, what was the word yeah. To become better. To become better. I don't think that's... Never happens. The well, see, they're stuck, because, I mean, it's, it's like they've got this definition. To make people better, you punish rightly. If you punish rightly, you've, by definition, made people better. Or the people viewing them who see the punishment and getting better. That's like a world view. Yes. What do you think of the world view? I'm asking you to judge it. Well, it's their definition of right punishment. Why? Makes people better. Yeah. Go back to the question. Of what makes people better? No. No, see, that's not the no. I want you to judge what you just so aptly and accurately described. That's all. Well, they're taking a yeah, I noticed, kind of view of punishment. I noticed that. What do you think of it? I don't have any thoughts about punishment, except I don't <coughs> but, I don't, I mean, I don't have any view of it, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think people need to be punished. You don't think they need to be. Do you right. agree or disagree with that that way of dealing with what is called questionable behavior? Do you agree with what the experts say? No. Well, but, yes. I mean, I, I, I You're confusing me. Yes and no at the same time. Go ahead, do it again. Tell us what it's like. Go ahead. Tell us what, I mean, that's their world limited to behavior. Yeah, I noticed that. By the way, do you agree or disagree with it? <laughs> I don't have a position. I don't agree or disagree with their small world definition. Why do you call it small? Because I'm only looking at behavior, not mine. But do you like it or not like it? Do you accept it or reject like it? it? No. What? I don't like it. Good heavens. You don't like it because you don't think it's right? Or is it just a matter of taste? I don't like it. I think it's too limited. It's not looking at the cause of the behavior, the ultimate cause of the behavior. Therefore, are you agreeing with it or disagreeing with it? I would disagree. Whew. It came to a judgment. Huh? Yeah. What do you think of that? Well, it was pretty cool. Once I reasoned my way to cause, the considered cause, then I could see that I could actually make a judgment. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, do you, do you agree with it or disagree with it? I disagree with it. Ah, thank you. <laughs> what? No. Okay. Are you sure? Well, until you laugh. Oh. So all I have to do is laugh. Nice. Okay, one, two, go ahead. Well, uh, that's, you know, the, the punishment and uh, justice thing is something that I struggle with on my own a lot. What you just read there. What is uh, e even more interesting is that I had a second dream here, and that was the problem in the dream. So I don't know if it would be asking too much to do it at this time. But, you know, I don't want to impose on anybody, but it's, I didn't do it because it has a, some... By the way, do you agree with that judgment? I, I struggle with that one. I, I noticed. Yeah. By the way, do you agree with it or disagree with it? Well, I, uh, I, I have a struggle with this scene as bringing people to justice or it being vengeance. And uh, yeah, I, I haven't made up my mind on that. 
I mean, it happens, you know, there's, uh, like, I've been wrong, right? And I, you know, but it's, it's done. And Do you I, agree or disagree? I don't know, I, I can't, you know, what? I, I cannot make up my mind. What, what do you mean you can't make, what, what, what do you mean you can't make up your mind? Well, because it seems that, like, it, uh, you know, uh, that is, what happens at times? What happens, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That yeah. if somebody gets punished yeah. for a wrongdoing. Yeah. yeah. By the way, do you agree with that idea or not? Well, yeah, no, on a gut level, no. You know, but oh, I, but oh, I on a gut level. Explanations why I should. Pardon me. On a gut level, you're rejecting it. Yes. Ah, thank you. Yeah, but it doesn't but end. Experts say it it's not the experts. It's it, it's it's proven, right? That if. Somebody, you know, proven by that. Please. I provenly agree with the, the, the flow of the intent of the proposition. I guess for me, the trigger there is using the word punishment. Yeah. You know, like if you were to say, like a proper response to the wrongdoing can either make the person feel better or, as an example, show others where the wrongdoing is. But I think. I mean, we're, 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 we're that word punishment yeah. sends me off is kind of societal using that kind of like explanation of that's what we're doing, but they're not. You know? Does it work? It, does, it doesn't work in the way that's being used, right? No, no. Does in it work? Society? Huh? Look at, yeah. Try this question. Come on. From your experience, I imagine some of you Many have been punished. Is that possible in your life? Uh, did it no, make you? Did it make you better? <laughs> no, no. no. It made me angry. Correct. <laughs> but I stopped. I might have stopped doing what I was doing. Oh, hold it. I'd like to offer that you know the, the question is made as if there's an absolute. Yes. And when I'm in the possession of your question, mm -hmm. I want to say sometimes yes, sometimes no. Like it's conditional. Okay. So I don't know. I'm kind of interesting. How, you know, how would you? Is that, do you have any coaching or like uh, guidance yeah. that can? You know, when I'm sitting here going, sometimes it may be, and sometimes it won't, and you're asking. Is it black or white? And I'm trying to go to gray. Yes, look It is black or white. What do you do with something that you can recognize is wrong? Right? That someone did. You. Right? Now, it means that you have to, at this point, agree that what was done was wrong. Just right. as a that's position. Right. That's the first judgment. Right? That's given. Right. Yeah. So the person agrees they did something wrong. All right? Punishment. Suffer. Assumption. They're being made better. On the other side, did they know at the time it was wrong that they did it? Can you be in a position in that case of suffering the ignorance, or punishing the ignorance, not the action? <coughs> Or did they not? If they did not, then clearly that's an ignorance, isn't it? By definition? Wouldn't you agree the best thing to do with ignorance is punish? Rather? Educate, enlighten. Yeah. Find out why. They didn't know that it was wrong. Address the problem. Well, that means an exploration, doesn't it? It's an exploration. 
But wait a minute. This requires an explanation, an exploration. What kind? How to account for the person's ignorance? By the way, the same thing is here. Did they know it was wrong when they did it? If they did, then you want to know why they acted against what they knew. Why did they act against what, what, what they knew was right and chose the wrong? These are two different kinds of explorations, aren't they? Like, I know a friend of mine who teaches mathematics, and he's really an excellent teacher, because uh, when the students get something wrong, he takes them out and he beats them up. <laughs> and in that way, he makes them into better students. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that right? Uh, no. 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 Did I misunderstand what you do? <laughs> yes, definitely. What do you do then? <laughs> um, I, usually, <laughs> I usually ask them to tell me what they do know, and then eventually, when they run out of what they know, I so I go. So what don't you know? And then they tell me. I go. Well, then how can you learn that? And they go. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> And they go all on their own and figure it out. And if they figure it out, will they ever do it again? Oh, if they might for a yeah. while before they practice it more. But oh, then they, wait a minute. Then it had to take some practice yeah. after you discover yeah. what's the right thing to do? Yeah, they might still need to submit. I'm not going to act like it's all going to be gravy from that. Oh, then that corrects the wrong. It at least gets them on the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What does that do to the issue of punishment? It doesn't make it necessary. Ah, but, yeah, go ahead. But what if they know how to do it and they don't do their homework and then the, the whole semester they don't do their homework and then you have to give them a grade at the end, what do you give them? Yeah. See? No, I'm saying if, if they know how to do it and they don't do it, they know they should be doing it, and then you have to give them an F yes. right, at the end. Oh, yes. when you assess them, we give them tests. They take the tests. If they pass the test and don't do their homework, they can still pass the class. Well, let's say that they don't show up on the days of the test, but they know there to test, so they purposely don't show up. Well, in high school, if you don't play the game, you don't pass the game. Then you get an F. That's part of the game. Is that a punishment, getting an F? No, they didn't hurt them. See, but the thing is, I was always telling them this, whenever you want to come and play, I'm there to play. Right. So, but if you don't come and play, then you get what, what you get. The F eventually hurts them if they don't graduate, right? But that's not a punishment. I'm not using that's not a, punishment. That's not a punishment. It's not a punishment. They are not being I mean, hurt. Well, well, you not don't a physical have punishment, but it's still... <laughs> Right, and that, and that, what it said there says the right punishment. So what does he mean by that? That's key, isn't it? I mean, no. If the right punishment, he said, because he uses the word right suffer, he uses the word right. suffer in the statement. Therefore, they have to go through something painful and to suffer. However, the punishment is inflicted. Say that again. The right punishment. In the statement itself, there is the acceptance that, that suffering follows punishment. No, that's only, but that's only for those that are used as an example, though. No. Oh. There's two, two people that are punished. Yeah. One, one, the first one can be made better and get an advantage, as Thomas Taylor puts it here, it says profit, but the other set... Um, they serve as an example to the rest that others seeing the sufferings they would suffer by seeing the punishment no I think it would be a person no. No, no, pardon me. others seeing the sufferings he endures may in fear amend themselves that's right so yeah. 
then it arouses a fear that they may have to experience what that person has right. experienced. It's still suffering. Which no, is no. suffering. No. Or, so go ahead. Suffering means undergo. Okay, look. Yeah, that's right, undergo. It doesn't mean the usual. Hey, uh, uh, let me suggest something. Mm -hmm. I was watching a TV show uh, many years ago. It was a documentary. <clears throat> and it was a psychiatrist interviewing a serial killer <clears throat> of great renown. And what he did, after you went through the stories again and again, you found the particular way in which he inflicted death, which is he would warn, and they're all, always women, by the way, he would warn the women ahead of time that with the screwdriver he had in his hand, he was going to approach them and stick this in their eye and scramble their brains. Uh, sort of nice guy. And um, when he did that, he kept saying to them again and again, and if you aren't keeping your eyes open, I'll do it to the other eye. Ouch. You have to look at me. Scrambled enough. Well, that, this is the story, all right? That he would force the he would force the woman to look at him when he was going through the act, however successful he was in in keeping that other eye open is not discussed. But that's that's the threat. Okay, yeah. look here. The psychiatrist went through great effort of pulling all of this information out. Mm. And as a consequence of this story, there was a follow-up. And because the psychiatrist didn't know what to do beyond getting the information. Mm -hmm. And the follow-up, someone said, is it possible that in his own lifetime, he had a mother who, when in only time she ever showed any affection to him, was punishment and forced him to look at her directly while she beat him up. What do you mean? Well, yeah. Sounds possible. That, but does that make it possible? Does that, what does that do? Well, this added story. It puts the um, action into the context of being an act of love. Yeah, and, and it makes it... A relationship? A re rational. Rational. Under that premise. Yeah. Oh. It explores, it explores the problem and it provides a rational way to but the, resolve. Yes, but the psychiatrists couldn't use it because they killed the guy. They executed him. Right. <laughs> he was punished. Right. Yeah. He was punished and then they killed him. Yeah. So there, there's no... Why punish if you're not going to be around to benefit by it? Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Say it again. It's Why beautiful. If they're going to die. If they're not going to be around to benefit. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> but this might show maybe there isn't a need for punishment but there might be an interest in trying to discover what causes someone to do something they themselves don't understand why they are doing it. Right. And therefore make them better. Yeah, no, please. This may go down a path you don't want to go, but it's true. <laughs> uh, it's my opinion that most punishment is not to ameliorate the issue being dealt with, yes. but it's to placate the audience, the community. And yes, it may be revenge of the community. It's like, you know, when you've got a, a psychopath killer, the community is concerned, they're alarmed, they're fearful, and this and that, and will bring peace and calm back to the community by 
Right, and that gives them a sense of revenge. Right, revenge is often an important element. Yeah. 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 Right, like uh, like this guy that killed the nine people in South Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of? You? Same thing. Got to help him out. Why not? Have a dialogue. Why not? Yeah, and, yeah. and people that leave jail never commit the same crime. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you won't be leaving jail. <laughs> Have, having had some experience teaching in San Quentin and seeing the problem of punishment, it's really interesting. Yeah, I did that for several years. Philosophy is what I taught them. Yeah. Do you know, remember Eldridge Cleaver? Yeah. He was one of my students. Wow. And he wrote the book, oh, Soul on Ice. Right. He mentions it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So therefore, beware of philosophers teaching convicts. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. Just, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Really fun seeing you guys uh, again. Yeah. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Good show. That was a good dream. Good dream. See, they're all the same. See, amazing, aren't they? Well, I'll tell you, that Dream Master, he doesn't miss presenting our problems to us in our dreams, right? That's so true. That is amazing, isn't it?